Welcome to the very first Old Mutual Woo, Hero Conversation. And of course, this beautiful environment out here, huh? The studios upstairs, the facilities, the opportunity to just walk in here. Firstly, have you heard? Downstairs is open to the public all day for free. Young people have an opportunity to honestly live their dreams and learn from the greats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the ever gorgeous, ah, oh, the queen herself, Mamle Tambulu. Another round of applause for the beautiful Mamle Tambulu. From one legend to another legend, the king herself, Tandi Swamazwai. Ta! The importance of longevity just as a career before we talk about money, planning ahead. How did you think about that when you started, right at the beginning, man? For me, it was do or die. I would want to call it, it was a calling. I didn't do it because I was, I wanted to make money or glamour, even, that, even though those days there wasn't money for black artists. I was driven, I love to do this thing so much that um, no one could stop me, not even my mom. No one in the family could stop me. And so I did it without money because I was driven. Mm. Most of the art relations well, most, there are artists who come into the business and because they heard that Tandi Swamazai is the biggest thing that is happening today and I want to be like her. But we don't know what motivated her to, be, to want to be a singer. She did it because there was something that was driving her to be that artist that she is today. So my advice to, my first advice would be to young artists, think before you plunge in. Think about what you really want to do. Do you really want to sing because you feel this thing inside you? Or you do it because you can make money? There are those who are very lucky. They go and make money like that. And then they blow it because they think it's going to come tomorrow. But if you are driven, you don't do that. Yeah. You are driven to do it, yeah. money or no money. So I, I think my longevity comes from the fact that um, You've always loved it. I've always loved it yeah. and, I, and I didn't care. Yeah. I wanted to sing and it made me feel good. And it was when I came back home, when they told me that my, my, my mom Nani, who said, looked at me one time and said, then it began to make sense to yes. me. You know? yes. So I, I would advise young artists to, to really search, to really find out why they want to sing, why they want to dance, yeah. why they want to, to, to be stars. And I know? think if, you, if you're not doing it for the money, yeah. then you're able to sustain it. Exactly. Because you, you sing in spite of everything. Absolutely. And you sing whether there's an applause or, or not. not. You yes. sing on your own, yes. in your house, by yes. yourself. Yes. You know, I have, there's this thing where people, if people don't see you in the press a lot, they ask you, Usatula. <laughs> <laughs> and my answer is always that I, I was singing before you knew I was singing. Exactly. And exactly. I'll be singing when I'm After. dying, yes, I'll still yes. be singing. You know, somebody told me a really beautiful story about Brahu when he was, you know, passing away. That he would lie there and he would just do this with his fingers, mm. because that's 
you go all the way with the music yes. if you love it. Yes. Then it takes yes. you with you. It go you go with it all the way. Yes, you really. And do. it's not about how much money you made or how mm -hmm. much applause mm -hmm. you got. Mm -hmm. It's got to be about mm -hmm. loving it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, um, Mama, I you know I've I've wanted to have this conversation with you for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, as you know from when you first came back home. I've been holding on to your dress and saying, oh, Mamuleta, I love this song, I love this song. I, lo I, I mean, I know the entire discography. And what I actually think is that Mamuleta actually is probably one of the most prolific South African songwriters. They yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I can listen to Mamuleta's music the entire day you don't get, you don't run out of songs, number one, and you just don't find a bum song. All the songs are incredible. I, Buza, Zimkile, Makwalandini, Down by the River, <laughs> all of them, so many songs, so many songs. What is wrong with grooving? But that's actually a humus, is, that was actually Brahu's song, right? Which one is that? What is wrong with grooving? And then yes, you, re you recorded yes, it. Yes, I recorded it, it yeah. He, he, actually, we were in San Francisco together. Uh -huh. And he, he came with this song, and I listened to it, and the words were like, <sighs> okay, am I gonna sing this song, really? <laughs> you know? I and love he said, I know you do. I, I, I've always and loved that I song. was very, you know, because I was very, you know, I was very straight. I'm a very straight person. Uh -huh. So, you know, when he came, I'm like, what's this wrong with grooving? Can't you get just, Just have, have a little, little happy. happy. I was like, oh, <laughs> I can't say these things you know, without yeah. any hiding. But anyway, um, I said, okay, I'll do it. I agree to do it. Actually, I, I always thought that that was such a revolutionary song, especially speaking about uh, black girls yes. and the ability to yes. have joy. I actually wrote it around that time, you yes. know, when women were saying, we don't want to wear bras anymore. Yeah, we, we just want to be happy. <laughs> we just want to have a little happy. Yeah. Actually, when I, I went to go visit Mamleta the other day, she was speaking about um, the importance of the union. So I'll mm -hmm. let you talk about that. But for mm -hmm. me, I think what's always been important um, from the very beginning was to read my contracts. Uh, to have a lawyer to read my contracts. Mm -hmm. um, was this from the beginning? From the very beginning. I think, well, I, I think what I would, well, here's one thing. When we were jackknife, <laughs> we got child. We got child there. The we got truth child comes there. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did get child there. I think from that song, I probably made about 3,000 rand <laughs> over the but years. But who gave you the wake up call, though, that you know that you're actually being child? The person who gave us the wake-up call ended up being the guy who was also chowing us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you've also got to be careful of people who are talking fast in this mm. industry because mm. everybody is talking. But yeah. um, so straight after that, we knew that you know we have to get lawyers and have you know somebody read our contracts, explain our contracts to us, and for us to know what we want out of that contract mm. is the most mm. important thing. But the thing about this industry is that it's also, it, it, it falls towards the, the record companies. The record companies always make more money out of our creativity than we do. And that's why in this present day, a lot of young artists just do their stuff independently and then try and distribute it in some other way mm -hmm. because they can't afford to give up their masters or you know, give up so much of their percentage mm -hmm. of their work mm -hmm. to someone else. So the contract is really important. And the other thing that's important is having a financial advisor. I've always had a financial advisor, always put my money away. Mm -hmm. um, and having investments, you know what I mean? For me, that's the main, because our, our business is not, what's the word I'm looking for? Like we, you can't be sure about what's going to happen. Mm. You can't say just because I had a hit this year, I'm no, gonna be still. here 20 years from now. Mm. Nobody knows mm. that. Mm. There's a lot of great, incredible artists who are sitting at home with no work mm. whatsoever. So it's not even about how talented you are, mm. because that's not the thing. Mm. Um, but so when you do get that chance to make some money, you have to plan for it. Yes, you in, have in to. A, you know, have to plan for it, yeah. You have to. But you, you were to. talking to us about um, about being in the U.S. and how yeah. the union 
was actually quite an important part of how you yeah, navigated yeah. the business yeah. well, and protected you a lot. Yeah, um, I, I, it's something that I've always wished that in South Africa we, we, we develop, you know, uh, because, uh, for instance, when I arrived at the airport, there was already an agent that mm -hmm. said to me, you know, you cannot come and play here in any club mm -hmm. without you signing this piece of paper that says you are a member of the union. Mm -hmm. So from the airport, I was driven straight to the office of the agent, and I was told this is this is the form that you sign, and I read it, and I was given a card, now you remember, and you have to pay dues every, every month, you know? And that's how I learned. But as time went on, I was able to realize how important this union was. Yeah. Uh, because it protects you, the artist, uh, from, from producers, you know, mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, it protects also the producer from you. Yeah. You know, if you don't come to the show on time or you don't show up at all, you pay a fee as an artist. Mm -hmm. And also there's another aspect which I very much like. The musicians, if you're a musician that plays a, a, an instrument, there's a, 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 I'd say like, let me make an example with Old Mutual. Oh, no, no, let me say an example with Yamaha. Yamaha would say, since it's a group of you who want to buy instruments, mm -hmm. I know that I can make a mint from you, but you will get the instrument that you want and I'll, you'll pay only 1% mm -hmm. you know, interest. So they were able to buy a lot of instruments and they were able to supply instruments I mean, to a right lot now, of artists. And a lot we of don't know that. Don't have instruments. They don't. They can't afford the very instrument they play. Exactly. And also when you travel to another country to perform, there's a contract that you take with you from your union, and your union says, this artist needs X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So it didn't matter where you go, you are protected. You were always protected by the yeah. union. And this and is good because it covers the small artists, so that even if, you know, you don't have to be, for instance, Casper your vest to get you know, a dressing it, it, room. It, it, it protects everyone. Yeah. You know, even yeah. the big artists still have, you know, they still have to be members of the union. And also another thing that is good about the union is that when you go to a record company, they want to see your contract. Yeah. You take it to the union, they read it, and they say, this is not the percentage that the union wants for this artist. Yeah. And they make sure that your percentage that you're supposed to get, you get. Yes. You know, and... Um, even when, you, like, like I said earlier, when you're performing in a club or in a theater, they make sure that the stage is right, the lights are right, and you, nothing will safety, fall on you. Yeah, if, yeah that's security, yeah. safety and security. All those aspects are in place. You know, so union is very, very important, and nobody can rip you off when you have a union to protect. So why, why do you think it's so difficult for us here in South Africa to establish a union. I know there's been some unions established, mm. and then you know sometimes it's and 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 there's quite a few of them. Yeah. Do you think it's important to just have one or many or? No, I mean, the, 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 it, well, in in many countries, you you have a union for the actors, you have a mm -hmm. union for the performers, yeah, and uh, you have a union for visual arts. You know, people who are, who are into painting and all that. So they are different. Yes. But, to, you know, I'm talking about the union that protects us, the yes. performing artists, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we need it here. We have a lot of performing artists in South Africa mm. and very good ones. Uh, we need to do something about that. It's very important.